It's only 30 points. That's a couple of green questions. Anything can happen in the second buzzer round. It's more or less the same as before, but it gets much more exciting because we play for two minutes this time. And after one minute, we hear this noise. And I will tell you that that means we're playing for double points, okay? This will decide who's going to go through and run the lights and try and win the star prize. So stand by your buzzers, guys. Two minutes of time begins now. Name the pedal in a car that makes it go faster. Neil. Accelerator. Yes, you don't want to get that one mixed up, do you? Which famous animal is famous for giving off a terrible smell? Neil. Skunk. A skunk, yes, when it's frightened. Okay, Stephen, a quick buzz there before I've asked the question. So I'll just ask the question, what kind of book is used for looking up the spelling and meaning Stephen? Uh... You, you buzz then. Neil, I'll repeat the question of you. A book used for looking up the spelling and meaning of words. Dictionary. A dictionary, of course, yes. How many arms do most starfish have? Neil? Five. They have five arms, yes, okay. In which language does gracias mean thank you? Yes, Neil? In uh, Spanish. In Spanish, yes, absolutely. The character of Kim Tate returned from the dead in which soap opera? She was supposed to be dead, but she came back. No, the answer was Emmerdale. So we're going to stay with a green question. If you were on the island of Crete, which country would you be in? Yes, Stephen. Greece. You'd be in Greece. Well done. Okay, it's double points now, guys. Which family member is celebrated on June the 16th? Yes, Stephen. Father's Day. It is. It's your father. Well done. In which Italian city would you find the Sistine Chapel? Christine Chapel. Yes, Stephen? Rome. Well done. Okay, on to Green. Who's the author of Christine and Misery? Christine and Misery. Any ideas? No, the answer we're looking for there is Stephen King. So we're staying with a green question. A 50 pence piece has how many edges? Yes, Stephen? Five. No, Neil, can you pick up the points? Nine. No, the answer is actually seven. So we're still on green. For a car to be roadworthy, it has to pass its end. Neil, you passed down, I'm afraid, so I've got to give Stephen a question. Pass this MOT test. What does MOT stand for? No. No, you don't know. The answer then is Ministry of Transport. So we're going to stay on green. Which American actor was the star of the movies Waterworld and Ten Cup? Neil. Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. You were just in there in the nick of time. At the end of that buzzer round, I told you it was going to be exciting, didn't I? Oh, my goodness. The scores are level... Both Stephen and Neil have 140 points each. <laughs> Guys, what happens here is I will ask you one buzzer question. Whoever buzzes in with a correct answer goes forward to run the lights. Are you both ready? Stand by those buzzers. Here comes the question. Matthew Letissier is associated with which sport? Stephen. Football. Football. He's in there. That was so close. Well done, Stephen. Give him a round of applause. Neil, in all the years of red, amber, green, I don't think we've ever had a tiebreaker for the final round. That was so exciting. What can I say? Let me shake your hand. Well done there, mate. You're not going home empty-handed. Everyone gets a set of red, amber, green traffic lights. Have you enjoyed yourself? Yeah. Thank you for giving us the most exciting game we've had yet. Give Neil a round of applause. And it's time for us to rendezvous at the roundabout and play red, amber, green. So, were you sweating there or what? Eh? <laughs> We're going to go for the final round now. Remember, I'm going to ask you up to 12 questions in the space of a minute. From you, I need nine correct answers. If you don't know the answer, remember to say pass and come back to them at the end if there's time. Each correct answer lights up a segment of our flashing traffic lights. Red, amber, when we get to the end of green and they're all lit up, it means you've won the star prize. Let's take a look at what the star prize could be. Green is for get up and go with this cool mountain bike complete with a full range of accessories. Fantastic prize. It could be yours. I have 12 questions in front of me. Are you ready to start? Yeah. The time starts now. How many sides does a quad quadrilateral have? Four. Yes. What's the world's highest mountain? Mount Everest. Yes. What's a bicycle made for two people called? Tandem. Yes. What's the capital of Spain? Madrid. Yes. Dot Cotton is a character in which BBC soap? Pass. Steffi Graf is from which European country? Pass. 
What's 50% of 700? 350. Yes. Which sign of the zodiac is represented by a crab? Scorpio. No, it's Cancer. In the Beatles song, what colour was the submarine? Yellow. Yes. The girl band Eternal has how many members? Three. Yes. Opera, opera singer Luciano Pavarotti is from which country? Pass. Who's Norma Major married to? Um, John Major. Yes. Dot Cotton is a character in which soap opera? Pass. Okay, Steffi Graf is from which European country? Germany. Yes. You've done it! You took me by surprise very quickly. Doc Cotton is in EastEnders. The other one you passed on, Pavarotti, is actually from Italy, but never mind. You win the prize. Congratulations. You've got yourself a mountain bike to go with your school prize. You're a winning champ. Can you come back next time? Yep. Yes, give them a round of applause. Give both the contestants a round of applause. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.